criminality has increased by 12% on the world level due to the absence of government control, while the feeling of security has dropped worldwide level by 25%. And 24% of the neediest parts of the world have fallen or are located beyond the reach of aid and assistance. Because of terrorism, the justice system in the world has been affected. Many have become marginalized and who believe that their extremist ideas are more efficient. Because of terrorism, Human growth rates have declined by 9% because of terrorism and the fear of terrorism. Many have changed their plans for stable families as a result of increased social inequality, especially gang-related. And uh, because these uh, are in the areas held by terrorists, because of terrorism, 33 percent of displaced labor force died or indirectly from prostitution or illegal activities linked to criminal networks. Security precautions caused 36 percent of states to implement laws restricting economic activity. Therefore, economic security. Producing complications in the field of cooperation, trade, education, tourism, and cross-border culture. There are over 150% of children around the world who have been subjected to recruitment and forced to take up arms in order to kill and torture. This is in addition to 5.3 million children suffering from psychological traumas and 700,000 children who have fallen outside of the traditional family system. We have seen anti-terrorist groups resort self-production through illegal methods. The result is that over 21% of these children have grown to executing methods of protection closer to terrorist activities. Because of terrorism, poverty has increased by 26%. The ability to exploit national wealth and resources has decreased by 37%, and 29% of education has been affected. Because of terrorism, the protection of universal values have been damaged directly or indirectly as illegal immigration has increased by 31%, producing new ethnic minority groups. Today, there are 270 million people living outside their original countries. 46 million of them have immigrated as a result of terrorism. We are still working on the preparation of a complex international report on the side effects of terrorism and direct influence on the collapse of values high caliber professionals, business people, scientists, academics, migrate from the regional countries. Collapse of social welfare system and change in expenditures of budgets. Crisis of the working class as a business and industry close down. Youth engagement in terrorism, planning, or migrating to join terrorist groups. Countering the roots of terrorism recruitment, as well as the loss of confidence and sense of humiliation in the long term. Reasons for the fleeing from the circumstances surrounding communities affected by terrorists and drug addiction. Also, the lack of leisure facilities and employment opportunities, as well as the weakness of the elements of governance, justice, flight of talent, and finally, illegal confiscation of property. Monitor the loss of identity in many societal sectors, insecure livelihood, monitor the 
result of inaction towards addressing root causes of weak states, which has severe consequences of security, stability, and prosperity at the national, regional, and international level. So the, the uh, situation is such that uh, all the above facts proves that we are facing a plague named terrorism began to spread. Therefore, robust methods of treatment should be followed to counter terrorism. We do not believe that uh, anyone in the audience or observers disagree with us in the fact that uh, it is time for the necessity of mass treatment and collective response to terrorism. We need to expand the scope of responsibility and participation in collective action to combat terrorism. And the involvement of new sectors of intellectuals, writers, artists, and civil societies and other parties in the face of the thought of terrorism. There is a gridlock in the collective action. There are repercussions and risks in developing uh, every day, and there are no concerted actions. The states' representation is not enough. States and international bodies are divided and dominated by confusion. The international community is not ready nor has sufficient plans to face the sudden evolution of terrorism. We work in, with the quick reactions. We focus on the responses that uh, considered satisfactory and that we tolerate the presented measures and proactive actions. The existence of a safe world needs collective action, a specialized mechanism, the consistency in the work of institutions and a deep understanding of the national security of states. This has become inevitable to ensure the effectiveness of international cooperation. We need to encourage global citizenship and to collect its fruit. We adopt more professional programs to renounce violence and threat, hatred. We need to develop our civilization and to know how civilization is not based on the contempt of other civilizations, but to fight against all kinds of hostiles to the diversity of human civilization and culture. We need effective institutions that are looking at the deep causes of terrorism, an international body that differentiates between the prohibited terrorism and the imposed terrorism. In light of recent acts of terrorism, nations and peoples have come together in calling the, to the world's governments to act. We are in front of historic opportunities that give us possibilities to demonstrate that we are able to mobilize human capabilities to protect its components and we are able to combat terrorism while taking legal measures to maintain the achievements of human rights and means of development and that we have one voice which is rising more and more than terrorism has no place in our world. In the face of such barriers, in the overall terrorist practices and excessive violence, behavior and ideas, concepts and practices, we need to diversify the methods and means of confrontation. In spite of the military and security deterrence, ways of containment, diplomacy, gentle persuasion, successful experiences of frustrating, of frustrating mechanisms, we did not approach the, the, the idea to make the fight against terrorism daily life approach in the formal and informal behaviors. To this end, today we put 
between your hands the first draft of a comprehensive international convention it deserves real study as it is a result of investigative efforts of experts who, and who took in consideration the needs and necessities of what we undergo nowadays. This convention addresses the following. One, general terms of collective cooperation to combat terrorism. How to develop international cooperation and coordination mechanisms to fight the root causes of terrorism, the development of capacities of workers in this field, how to protect the human rights system in combating terrorism. Most importantly, the Convention has found comprehensive settlements to all points of conflict in the past. The birth of a new body, the International Council for Combating Terrorism, which will ensure the following safe, fast, and forcible legislation, a rotation mechanism to review the national procedures and to strengthen the capacity of national bodies on a permanent basis, responding to any evolution, and the presence of a permanent international operations rule that works fast and coordinates between intelligence services in the world secrecy procedures and development of capabilities, determining who is a terrorist and who are the terrorist organizations, and addressing issue by issue based on the reports of countries subject to the international collective opinion. This council will prevent conflicting procedures and will reduce confusion and will unite international willpower in the face of terrorism and will put the appropriate international programs in place. The council does not intend fear or conflict with any international institution that exists or limits their power or infringe any national will. I wish that all of you will engage in our active debate and then take in the serious debate to your countries and emphasize that we all, governments and civil societies, stand united in the face of terrorism. And please remember that this convention is only the first draft, a significant idea which is subject to be enriched and developed, stemming from your experiences and your praiseworthy efforts in this issue. I'm sure that uh, your presence here today is a serious step forward towards a comprehensive and quick solution that addresses the real causes of terrorism. And uh, we also need to work together. Thank you all, and I wish you success in your meeting. Thank you for your attention.